My name is Peter, and I teach English language arts in New York City. For more than 15 years, I have taught at public high schools, including the highly ranked Townsend Harris High School in Queens, New York. In addition, I'm a teacher at Ivy Road Prep in Flushing, New York, where I have helped students with the college application process, including the writing of essays. Today I'm going to speak to you about the importance of the college essay in the application process. How to avoid making mistakes on your college application essay. For every open slot in an Ivy League college, there are 10 to 12 eager applicants vying for that position, and you're one of them. On paper, most applicants appear very similar. All are well qualified academically with high grades and test scores and solid involvement in extracurricular activities. Imagine the admissions officer who must choose which of these well-deserving applicants to accept. How will he or she make the decision? Often it's from the essay. The essay is the one chance for you to share a piece of yourself that is not encapsulated in the dry numbers and scores of the application. It is your opportunity to demonstrate why you'd be a perfect fit at the college, how you'd contribute to the student body, and why the college should accept you over other applicants. The essay is also the one part of your application that you have complete control over. You can write it the night before it's due and turn in a piece that is incomplete, or you can spend some time on the essay and turn in one that can set you apart from the competition. The truth is, is that you don't have to be a great writer to create a successful admissions essay, nor do you need to have survived a life-changing event or have won a Nobel Prize. Writing a successful admissions essay is actually much simpler. The secret is that any topic can be a winner, but it all depends on your approach. If you spend the time to analyze your subject and can convey that quality of thought that is unique to you through words, you'll have a powerful essay. It doesn't have to be beautifully written or crafted as the next American novel. At its core, the essay is not a writing test, it's a thinking test. So you do need to spend the time to make sure that your thoughts are conveyed correctly on paper. It may not be pretty writing, but it has to be clear. So how do you do this? While we at Ivy Road Prep can give you tips and pointers, the best approach is to learn by example. You need to see what a successful college application looks like. While there is no single way to produce a winning essay, there are some traits that all successful essays share. By studying successful college applications, you will learn how to write your own essay based on your own unique experiences, worldview, way of thinking, and personal style. Why are admissions essays so important to getting into Ivy League colleges and top tier universities? At their most basic level, essays help admissions officers to understand who you are. While grades, test scores, and academic performance can give the admissions officers an estimate on how prepared you are to handle the academic rigors of college, the essay offers the only way they can judge how your background, talents, experience, and personal strengths come together to make you the best candidate for their school. For you, the applicant, the admissions essay offers the best opportunity to share who you are beyond the dry statistics of your academic record. It's kind of amazing, actually. You start with a blank sheet of paper, and through careful selection, analysis, and writing, you create a picture of yourself that impresses the admissions officers and makes them want to have you attend their school. The goal at Ivy Road Prep is to help you create a successful essay that gets you accepted. We will guide you toward writing that essay by sharing with you the successes of others who have written to gain admission to Ivy League colleges, as well as other highly selective schools such as MIT, Stanford, Caltech, Duke, and the University of Chicago. If you're like most students, you would like to know the magic formula for writing an admissions essay. Although we would love to be able to tell you that, unfortunately no such formula exists. Writing is so individual and the options so limitless that it's impossible to develop a combination that will work for every essay. However, this doesn't mean that we're going to send you off with laptop in hand without some guidance. With the help of Ivy Road Prep, you are going to see the right way to do things. Right now, let's 
look at how to avoid a few common mistakes college applicants make when writing their essay. One, don't try to be someone else. This may sound very obvious, and well it is, but you'd be surprised at how many students don't heed this simple piece of advice. A lot of students think that they need to be who the admissions officers want them to be, but in reality the admissions officers want you just to be you. They aren't looking for a perfect student who is committed to every subject area, volunteers wholeheartedly for every cause, plays multiple sports with aptitude, and has no faults. Instead, they want to learn about the true you. Present yourself in an honest way, and you will find it much easier to write an essay about your genuine thoughts and feelings. Two, avoid choosing a topic that sounds good, but that you don't care about. Many students think that colleges seek students who have performed lots of community service. And it is true that colleges value contributions to your community. However, this doesn't mean that you must write about community service, especially when it's not something that has played a major role for you. The same holds true for any other topic. It's important that you select a topic that's meaningful to you because then you will be able to write about the topic in a complete and personal way. Three, think carefully before writing. You should spend as much time thinking about what you will write as actually putting words on paper. This will help you weed out the topics that just don't go anywhere, determine which topic has the greatest pull for you, and figure out exactly what you want to say. It can help to talk yourself through the essay aloud or discuss your thoughts with a parent, teacher, or friend. The other person may see an angle or a flaw that you do not. Four, be sure to answer the question. While this seems simple enough, many students fail to follow this. This advice is especially pertinent for those who recycle essays. Recycling an essay for more than one college or university may save you time, but it is important to edit your essay so that it actually answers the question being asked. College admissions officers are usually turned off when students submit an essay even a well-written one that does not answer the question. They think that the students either aren't serious enough about the college to submit an essay that has been specifically written or at least edited for that college. It could also create the impression that you don't follow directions. Either way, that's not the impression you want to leave. Five, be sure to share something about yourself. As you know, the main purpose of the admissions essay is to impart something about yourself that's not found in the application. Still, many students forget this, especially when writing about a topic such as a person they'd like to meet, or a favorite book or piece of literature they have read. In these cases, they may write so much about why they admire the person or the plot of the book that they forget to show the connection to themselves. Always ask yourself, if you are letting the admissions officers know something about yourself throughout your essay. Six, don't forget who your readers are. Naturally, you speak differently to your friends than your teachers. When it comes to the essay, some applicants essentially address the admissions officer with a too friendly high five instead of a handshake. In other words, it's important to be yourself in the essay, but you should remember that the admissions officers are adults, not peers. The essay should be comfortable, but not too informal. Remember that adults generally have a more conservative view of what's funny and what's appropriate. The best way to make sure you're hitting the right tone is to ask an adult to read your essay and give you feedback. Seven, avoid tackling too much of your life. Because the essay offers a few hundred words to write about an aspect of your life, some students think they need to cram in as many aspects of their life as possible. This is not the approach I recommend. An essay of 500 to 800 words doesn't give you the space to write about your 10 greatest accomplishments since birth, or about everything you did during your three-week summer program in Europe, if those are things you have done. Instead of trying to share your whole life, share what we call a slice of life. By doing so, you will give your essay focus, and you will have the space to cover the topic in greater depth. Eight, avoid having a boring introduction. Some students 
have begun their essays by repeating the question asked and even just stating their names. This does very little to grab the attention of the admissions officers. Sure, they'll read the whole essay, but it always helps to have a good start. Think about how you can describe the situation that you were in. Convey that you, were, that you strongly believe in or share an anecdote that might not be expected. An introduction won't make or break your essay, but it can start you off in the right direction. We at Ivy Road Prep can show you how to write an introduction that makes readers want to learn more about you. 9. Don't latch on to an issue that you don't really care about. One of the prompts for the common application is, quote, discuss some issue of personal, local, national, or international concern and its importance to you." Unquote. The key to answering this question is to carefully think about these words. It's importance to you. This is what students most often overlook. They select an issue and write about the issue itself, but they don't really explain why it is important to them or how they see themselves making an impact. If you write about an issue, be sure to pick one that is truly meaningful to you and that you can know something about. It helps if you can describe how you have personally done something related to the issue. 10. Avoid using gimmicks. Applicants have been known to enclose a shoe with their essays along with a note that reads, now I have one foot in the door. They have also printed their essays in different fonts and colors, sent gifts or food, and even included mood music that's meant to set the mood while the admissions officer reads the essay. A few students have even sent cash. While gimmicks like this may grab some attention, they don't do much to further the application, especially those few who've sent money, a definite no-no. It's true that you want your essay to stand out, but not in a way in which the admissions officer thinks that you are inappropriate or just plain silly. If you have an idea for something creative, run it by a teacher or counselor to see what he or she thinks first. 11. Be specific. If you think about some of the best stories you've been told, the ones that you remember the most, those are filled with details. The storyteller may have conveyed what he or she thought, felt, heard, or saw. From the information imparted, you may have felt like you were there, or you may have developed a mental image of the situation. This is precisely the experience that you would like admissions officers to have when reading your essay. The key to being memorable is providing as many details as possible. What thoughts were going through your mind? What did you see or hear? What were you feeling during that time? Details help bring the admissions officers into your mind so that they feel your story. 12. Don't cross the line. Some students take to heart the advice to share something about themselves, but they end up sharing too much. They think that they must be so revealing that they use their essay to admit to something that they would never have confessed to otherwise. There have been students who have written about getting drunk, feeling suicidal, or pulling pranks on their teachers. It's possible that in the right context these topics might work. For example, if the pranks were lighthearted and their teachers had a good sense of humor about them, that may be acceptable. But for the most part, these kinds of topics are highly risky. The best way to determine if you've crossed the line is to share your idea about a couple, with a couple of adults and get their reactions. 13. Connect with what you have written on the application form. While you don't want to repeat the information from the application form verbatim in your essay, it's usually a good idea to have some continuity between the form and your essay. For example, if you write an essay about how your greatest passion in life is playing the piano, and how you spend 10 hours a week practicing, this hobby should be mentioned in the application form along with any performances you've given or any awards you've won. It doesn't make sense to write about how you love an activity in the essay and then to have no mention of it in the application form. Remember that the admissions officers are looking at your application in its entirety and they should have a complete and cohesive image of you through all the pieces, which include the application form, essay, transcript, recommendations, and interview. 14. 
go deep and ask yourself why. One of the best pieces of, pieces of advice that we give students is to keep asking why. As an example, let's say that you were writing an essay on organizing a canned food drive. You should ask yourself why you wanted to do this. Your answer might be that you wanted to help the homeless. Then ask yourself why this was important to you. Your answer might be that you imagined your family in this situation and you would greatly appreciate if others showed compassion and helped you. Go further. Why else? You might say because you wanted to gain hands-on experience as a leader. The point of asking why is to get you to realize that it's not enough to just state the facts or tell what happened, that you organized a canned food drive. What makes an essay truly compelling is explaining the why. You want the readers of your essay to understand your motivation. Keep asking yourself why until you have analyzed the situation as fully as possible. The answers you come up with are what will make your essay stronger. 15. Get feedback. Practically every article that you read in a magazine, book, or newspaper, or on the internet has been edited. The reason is that writing should not be an isolated experience. You may know exactly what you want to convey in your own mind, and when you put it on paper, it may not come out as clearly as it was in your mind. So it helps to get feedback. Ask parents, teachers, or even friends to read and comment on your essay. At Ivy Road Prep, we can help you identify what can be edited out, what needs to be explained better, or how you can improve your writing. 16. Avoid getting too much feedback. Asking one or two people for feedback on your essay is probably enough. If you ask more than that, you may lose the focus of your writing. Having too many editors dilutes your work because everyone has a different opinion. If you try to incorporate all of your opinions, your essay will no longer sound like you. 17. Don't try to be extraordinarily different. There are some people who are extraordinarily different, but the truth is that most of us are not. What's more important than conveying yourself as the most unique person at your school is that you demonstrate self-analysis, growth, or insight. 18. Don't rule out common topics. There are topics that admissions officers see over and over again, such as your identity, your relationship with your family, extracurricular activities, and the big game. While these topics are very common, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't write about them. Your topic is not as important as what you say about it. For example, many students choose to write about their mom or dad. A parent can be one of the most influential persons in a student's life, and it makes sense that this would be the topic of many students' essays. So don't rule out mom or dad, but do rule out writing about mom and dad in the way that every other person will write. For instance, you might want to explain how your dad made banana pancakes every morning and what that taught you about the importance of family, or how your mom almost got into a fight with another mom who made an insensitive comment and taught you about the importance of respect and compassion. Make a common topic uncommon by personalizing it. 19. Don't force humor. You've probably seen at least one sitcom on TV or one monologue by Conan O'Brien or Jimmy Kimmel with a joke that fell flat. Maybe you groaned at the TV, or gave it an unamused expression. Keep in mind that the jokes on TV are written by professional writers who earn large salaries to be funny. Now remember that the great majority of us are not headed down this career path. What this means is that you shouldn't force humor into your essay. If you're a funny writer, then by all means inject some humor. Just be sure to ask an adult or two to read the essay to see if they agree with you that it is funny. If you're not humorous, then it's okay. You don't need to force it. 20. Don't wait until the night before it is due to write your essay. Almost every student has done it. That is, waited until the last minute to write a paper or do a project. Sometimes it comes out all right, but more often it does not. It is not wise to procrastinate when it comes to writing a college admissions essay. It takes time. Even if you were able to write an essay the night before it's due, it's still better not to. The best essays take time. Their authors write, take some time away from it, and then return to it later with a fresh mind. 21. 
take the thumb test. As you are writing your essay, place your thumb over your name. Could you put an, another name at the top because it could be an essay written by many other students? Or is the essay personal to you so that basically yours is the only name that could be at the top? If you fail the thumb test, it's time to rethink the topic or your approach to it. You want your essay to be unique to you. 22. Don't forget to proofread. Some students put the wrong college name in their essays, a mistake that can easily be avoided by proofreading. Many more students have spelling, grammatical, or punctuation errors. While these types of errors usually aren't completely detrimental, they can be distracting and may be a signal to the admissions officers that you're careless and not serious about your college. Avoid this by not only using your computer spell check, but by asking someone else to help proofread your essay. 23. Write to the specific college. In addition to learning about you, admissions officers also hope to learn how you would fit in at their college. Be as specific as possible about a college, especially if you are writing an essay about why you'd like to attend that particular college. For example, you may want to explain one or two things about the school that you think make it the best one for you. Make sure that your writing is not so general that it could be said of any other college. In other words, it's a good idea to describe how you visited the campus and maybe had a conversation with a few students who are already attending. It's not as good to, to write that you want to go to Harvard simply because it offers a high quality education. Instead, explain how that education will help you specifically. 24. Spend time on the rest of your application. Remember that the essay is one piece of the application. It can certainly help your chances of being accepted, but you need to have everything else in place as well. Sure, it takes a lot of time to work on the application form, recommendation letters, and interviews, but you are taking actions now that will affect the next four years of your life and beyond. It's well worth the effort. Thank you for taking time to listen about the importance of writing a good college application essay. We at Ivy Road Prep can help you to write a college admissions essay that will make you shine. I wish you all the best and hope you gain admissions to the college of your choice.